Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Sudhavati, a ChemOS anchor. Here we have Dr. Indumati, DGO and DNP uh, to discuss uh, a gestation hype, about this gestation hypertension and uh, diabetes in pregnancy. Uh, we are going to uh, see what are the risk factors for uh, diabetes in pregnancy. The first one is personal history of uh, GDM in previous pregnancy itself. That is uh, uh, previous pregnancy, the patient having a poor outcome and then uh, glucose intolerance uh, occurs in the previous pregnancy itself. The second one is member of ethnicity. Member of ethnicity the, the, with the high prevalence of type 2 diabetes mellitus. In our India, we are belong to uh, ethnicity of high risk of developing the type 2 diabetes mellitus. So we are uh, we are categorized into the high risk category. So we we are in India. We have to recommend to all the Indian all, all the pregnant women. We have to screen for gestational diabetes mellitus in the first visit it, itself. And then strong family history of uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus. And then maternal age is more than 25 years in the metal birth weight is more than 4 kg and uh, any medical conditions like uh, PCOS and then the patients having current uh, glucose intolerance or hypertension it is associated with mostly with the chronic hypertension and obesity uh, the obesity means the BMI is more than 130 kilogram per meter square and then significant weight gain in early adulthood and um, in between the pregnancy and the excessive gestational weight gain, all are categorized into the risk factors. Previous poor obstetric outcome suggestive of uh, delivery of baby is more than 4 kg or unexplained perinatal uh, loss, uh, uh, hypertension in previous pregnancy and polyhydramnios and uh, birth and uh, malformed in, uh, infant birth and neonatal hypoglycemia. This all are suggestive of uh, GDM in the previous pregnancy. Uh, so ma'am, please explain us what are all the diagnostic criteria for gestational and pre-gestational diabetes ma'am. Okay. In our India, we are belong to high ethnicity because I already explained now because we are uh, more prone for a type 2 diabetes mellitus in our uh, ethnicity. So, we are offer all the pregnant women for uh, screening for uh, gestational diabetes. Uh, we have in IADBC. What is IADBC means? International Association of Diabetes in Pregnancy. So, they are advising to screen all pregnant women for uh, screening for uh, gestation diabetes at the first visit itself. And okay, then follow up. Uh, the first time ma'am. Oh, yeah, if, uh, what is even though it is if uh, they are diagnosed, they will come at uh, second trimester itself. No, the first visit it is not the first trimester, second trimester, the first visit. Okay, ma'am. If the screening is neg uh, negative, we have to call, uh, ask her to come at the 24 to 28 weeks and then 30, uh, 32 to 34 weeks. So, we were discussing about ethnicity in diabetes, ma'am. So, continue with that. Uh -huh. uh, since the Indians are belong to high, uh, the ethnic group of high prevalence of uh, uh, type 2 diabetes, mellitus, ma'am. So, we are offering all, in the, all pregnant women to screen the gestation diabetes, mellitus in first visit itself. If the if it is negative, we have to ask her to come on uh, 20, uh, 24 to 28 weeks and 32 to 34 weeks. The, uh, so we are offer three screening tests, uh, three times screening test. Following gluco uh, glucose challenge test, ma'am, irrespective of last meal, we'll offer uh, 75 gram of glucose and then following after two hours, we are uh, checking the plasma glucose level, ma'am. If it is more than 140 milligram per percentage, it is called a uh, as a uh, glucose intolerance. Yeah. Also, so we follow up with uh, fasting and then postprandial sugar. Uh, the, you are asking the gestation diabetes, how will you uh, diagnose this GDM and yeah. then uh, uh, pre-gestational pre diabetes? The, uh, if it is the fasting blood glucose level, it should be the 92 milligram percentage. And then uh, if, it, uh, if it is the fasting postprandial blood sugar is it should be in less than 92 milligram percentage, ma'am. If it okay. is more than 92 milligram percentage and uh, less than 126 milligram, it is called as a gestational diabetes mellitus, ma'am. If okay. it is more than 126 milligram percentage or HbA1c more than 6.5 or random blood sugar more than 200 milligram percentage, it is called as a pre-gestational diabetes mellitus, ma'am. We, okay. we are following only the glucose challenge test, ma'am. That is, uh, we are uh, only offering the screening test to all the pregnant women. We are uh, we are following only glucose challenge test. That is, if it is it is a cutoff value is more than one forty milligram percentage now. So if it is more than one point one forty milligram percentage, they will refer to higher center for further follow up of uh, glucose uh, intolerance and then uh, further uh, management. Now. So it is a cutoff value is more than one forty milligram percentage. We are following that one only.
okay ma'am so it is very helpful you know that uh, diagnostic criteria ah. the value set up by the team is very useful yes ma'am okay ma'am so uh, in primary health uh, center Ah, yeah, uh, that's why they are uh, using this method in the primary health, health center itself. They are screening the all the women, uh, pregnant women, uh, for uh, gestational diabetes mellitus. If it is the cutoff value is more than one forty milligram percentage, they will refer to higher center for further uh, follow up. Okay, ma'am. So screening in the very initial level of uh, visit itself will be helpful to rule out the diabetes yes, in pregnancy, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, ma'am, please tell us about. the maternal complications during pregnancy ma'am so maternal is uh, a pregnant mother yeah so what are the complications faced by a pregnant mother ma'am that uh, di- diabetes is always associated with uh, diabetic uh, if it is a chronic uh, it is a over dm or uh, or pre gestational diabetes is always associated with uh, nephropathy or vasculopathy so it will mainly it will may associated with uh, gestational hypertension it is other okay. one uh, pain important uh, complications in obstetrics so it may associated with chronic hypertension or pre eclampsia then uh, polyhydramnias yes, because the maternal hyperglycemia it is associated with the fetal hyperglycemia and then fetal polyuria so it is associated with polyhydramnias and also infections on operative vaginal deliveries and then preterm labor and then post dated macrosomia and then uh, operative vaginal delivery and also it is a difficult uh, labor and it, they will land up in difficult labor because of macrosomia obstetric labor and then uh, perineal tear and also for uh, the more uh, cpd they will land up in uh, uh, lscs the all all the complications will occur ma'am Okay. Uh, then, uh, if it is uh, if it is uncontrolled uh, pre gestational diabetes, the mother will land up in the keto acidosis, and then uh, in infections, infections, it's mainly infections, vaginal yeah. candida, and then urinary tract infections, and then puerperal sepsis. Ma'am, these all are uh, maternal complications. Okay, ma'am. So all the above said uh, factors are highly contributing to our maternal infections, right, ma'am? Yes, maternal infections and mainly that uh, morbidity is very high, ma'am. Okay. And compared to gestational hypertension, uh, that uh, GDM will uh, will GDM mother will uh, uh, going for uh, fetal complications. Ma'am, and compared to the maternal complication, fetal complication is more. Okay, ma'am. So uh, we have completed knowing about maternal complications, ma'am. Now let us speak about fetal complications, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mainly the congenital anomalies, ma'am. We have will uh, because we, we we have to concentrate on the congenital anomalies of uh, babies. Because if it is the uh, blood glucose level, if it is the uh, poor control of uh, blood glucose level in the first trimester itself, it is may uh, uh, deranging the organogenesis because the organogenesis will occur in the first trimester. So if it is morely uh, mostly in the less than seventh week, seven to eight weeks itself, ma'am. So they land. And the pendant congenital anomalies mostly the it is a specific anomaly is the caudal regression syndrome, ma'am. But it is not uh, most common. But uh, it will may as it uh, it is associated with uh, mainly neural uh, uh, neural tube defect, uh, anencephaly, and uh, hollow prosencephaly, fetal complications, ma'am. Fetal yeah. complications, the uh, yeah, fetal complications mainly uh, uh, spontaneous miscarriage. So spontaneous miscarriage. If it is a poor controlled uh, blood sugar will land up in spontaneous miscarriage, ma'am. And then, uh, and then uh, mostly we have to concentrate on the congenital anomalies of the baby, ma'am, because oh. the, if it is the poor control of the blood glucose will uh, deranging the organogenesis. If it is five to seven percent of the women with the congenital anomaly, mostly associated with if it is the blood glucose level, it is um, uh, uncontrolled blood glucose level. Within the less than seven weeks, will land up in the uh, anomaly, uh, congenital anomaly, ma'am. The uh, mm-hmm. the specific anomaly in the gestation diabetes, the, the specific anomaly of diabetes mellitus is caudal regression syndrome, ma'am. Uh, but it is not more more common. But it is specific to the uh, diabetes mellitus. The mostly the uh, uh, anencephaly, spina bifida, and hollow prosencephaly, and cardiac defect like uh, uh, ASD, VSD. And uh, TOF and the transposition of the great vessels, and okay. also uh, kid, uh, kidney anomalies, 
and uh, and the disrespect to the diabetes mellitus gardel regression syndrome is the all the uh, anomaly will be occur so we have to follow up uh, with the mother with the uh, echo mam anomaly uh, anomaly scan and also they have to do echo in the second trimester itself uh, fetal echo for yeah. to follow up the uh, uh, cardiac anomalies and then other anomalies we have to do look mam and then following uh, congenital anomaly fetal growth restriction mam fetal growth restriction is most common in um, just uh, with the pre gestation diabetes because it is associated with vasculopathy and hypertension and pre eclampsia will cause placental insufficiency and also cause uh, fetal growth restriction mam and followed uh, macrosomnia macrosomnia means if it is the is birth by Okay. Yeah, if it is, it is a birth weight is more than ninety percent. It is called uh, macrosomnia, ma'am, because the fetal uh, maternal hyperglycemia will cause fetal hyperglycemia and hyperinsulinemia will cause birth weight in increasing the birth weight. It will also cause the shoulder dystocia and uh, birth increasing because it will increasing the birth weight. No, so it will cause uh, shoulder dystocia like uh, problem, ma'am, and also. uh because of poor uh, uh, maternal uh, glucose uh, maternal glucose yeah 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 we have to uh, control the glucose in the late trimester very cautiously because in the late trimester glucose if it does the uncontrolled um, glucose intolerance will uh, land up in the fetal hypoxia in fetal uh, land up in fetal late trimester iud man intra uterine death so we have to cautiously monitor the blood glucose level and then uh, we have to control the blood glucose level so thank you ma'am thank you for your uh, uh, golden time you have spent with our uh, lemius team in your busy schedule ma'am so thank you ma'am thank you, thank you.